one in. Scott here again from Tidy Bridge Landscaping. So today we're going to be doing some dry stack walling on this wall behind me. At the moment you can see it's just a bit grubby. So we're going to stick some veneers to the wall and um, see if we make it look prettier. And also to match the patio. The patio which is here at the moment is like a copper slate. So what we've got, these tiles here behind me. See them there? So we're going to be gluing these to the wall to match the actual patio. So yeah, quite a simple procedure. So we're going to stick them together and we should make it better. But first of all, I want to give the wall a clean. I want to get any possible algae off. So we've got a good surface to actually adhere to. So I'll get the pressure washer set up now. We'll start cleaning it. Let it dry for a little bit, set out the tiles and start gluing them down. Right, that's the wall cleaned down. So we've got a good surface to adhere to. So we'll let that dry out for a bit now. I'll get myself set up with um, all the bits I need and we'll get cracking. Okay, I've got a couple of them down. So let's show you this corner over here, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cross bond it. So that piece slides under there and it'd be like brickwork. It'd be like a cross joint, like stretcher bond. So that's gonna tie the corner in nicely and that'll work all the way up that edge of the brickwork there as well. So I'll show you how to stick these on with a primer. So there's five points of contact with each slab. You've got one in the middle, one either ends, and then one in between the middle and the end. So whatever I paint on here, I correspond up here. Then I put the sealant onto the actual tile itself, then that'll stick to the primer on this side. So I'll start doing that now. I'll give you a bit of an idea how it goes. So, start from the end, paint that on there. Then, where that corresponds up the wall, I'll paint onto there. I'll also do one little extra, this corner piece here, on this end. So, actually, there's six points of contact. Okay, everything's corresponded now with what I've put onto there, up there. That's all covered. I'm going to get the mastic. So when I'm gluing the mastic, I won't take it right to the end. I'll bring it in about a centimetre from each end. Because when you squash it to the wall, the um, sealant will spread a little bit. So. Not to the end. Got seven points of contact. So pick this up. Overlap the joints, make sure it's nice and tight. Cut the taps with the hammer. And then that's that one done. So I'll just keep this procedure now going through the wall. As long as it's got seven points of contact, then the tile should really be quite solid. So we've got one, two courses going across. Now we've got the step. So the step is always a bit of an awkward area, but this actually works out pretty good, actually. So what I've done, I've run my level across the top and the measurement I have here is 90 mil. So I'm quite lucky. I transfer 90 mil to the actual tile there. And that means these, this row here needs to come off so the top will be in the same line as that over there. So I just marked out the corner here where I need to cut. I just transferred that to there. So what we need to do, we need to cut that off and that off, and then it should um, slide straight in position. So let's give that a whirl. Okay, just cut that off. That actually works out pretty good. Nice and level across the middle. So I'll stick that one in now and a small little cut then to go in the corner. And uh, one more step then after that, then it should be home running. Fingers crossed. 
So I'll show you how to build the corner now. So I got my pencil with me. I'm gonna mark out where the primer is gonna to correspond to the wall. What I've also been doing as well, when I have the perp in the wall there, I'm making sure I don't put my um, adhesive in that area. I'm gonna keep it to the side so I've got a good point of contact. So I'm gonna mark the end. Everything corresponding to the right place. Get the adhesive on. Never go into the end. Always a bit short. Now I can stick these two to the wall and I can show you how I get my corner set. Okay, so this corner piece already marked out. I'm going to do the same over there with a primer. Corner, and I can lift this up, stick to the wall, and it will be a cross joint. There you go. Those two nicely to the wall. So if I continue this pattern all the way up, it will give us strength. Some people might just go straight up there and straight up there, but then you'll just end up with a straight joint, and then that's a form of weakness. So we're gonna cross joint everything for maximum strength. Nice, can I have a cup of coffee while you're working? So I'm not quite sure if you can see this, but there's a bit of a gap underneath. It's touching all the way along there, but yeah, these are some things you just can't get dead straight because the material won't let you. Well, that's a shame. I'm two boxes short. So, yeah, I got a little bit to go on there on the top. Oh well. So, can't finish it today. I was hoping I was going to be able to. Corner looks good though. Uh, yeah, I'll go down to Cardiff Slate and Stone Monday. See if they got any. Otherwise, I'll, uh, I'll get all the marshals. I'll get them to send me a box. Well, two boxes actually. So, well, uh, almost got it done. Looks nice though. Looks a biz. Uh, looks better than that um, red and that yellow um, engineering brick which is behind it. Yeah, looks a bit rubbish. So there we go. Come back Monday. See if I can uh, finish it off. Till then, have a good weekend. Stay safe. Okay, back again Monday morning. Um, I've ordered up the um, dry stack um, veneers for this for Wednesday. I can't get them any sooner. So until then, I got some porcelain tiles from a previous job. I'm gonna pop onto this wall now. So I've got my corners set out. So what I'll do with these, I'm gonna prime the underside of the wall, prime the back of the tile, introduce them, tap, wallet, bang, solid. Okay, I'll show you how I'm going to stick these down. So I got my primer in the bucket. I'm going to prime the top of the brick on edge wall in. Get all that stuff in there. This stuff has so many uses, it really does. There's so many things you can use this stuff for. So fantastic stuff. Right, okay, so we've got some on the brick on edge. A nice dollop now on top of here. So rub all that in. Happy days. Okay, now let's just put an extra little piece on top of there. Okay, that should be plenty. So it's on the brick on edge here now. It's on the back of the tile. No need to go right to the edges because it's actually going to overhang both sides. So I pick that up, knock that into position. No need to hammer it down. I can just push it down with my hands. And that will be there for a very long time because it's just so strong. Right, finished off the dry stack walling. So all that's on, looks good. 
and I'll show you how I'm gonna joint up the uh, joints between the tiles. I'm gonna be using the weather point because the patio, which is here before, which I jointed up last year, I used the weather point. So I might as well make it all match. So I got the copings on. There's one cut to go on the end, which is a 140. So what I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using my trusty flex saw with guide rail. It's a porcelain blade. So I've marked it out and um, so I'm gonna chop it off and then I can put the end piece in. Okay. I forgot to mention, it's a wet saw as well. So I've connected it to the water hose. And now we can chop. And it won't splinter. That's the main thing under water. So I'm going to do the jointing now on these tiles here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the primer here in the bucket I was using to put the tiles down. I'm going to paint some of the primer on this groove here to give it a little bit more grip. And then I can put the weather point into the hole where it needs to go and it shouldn't fall out the bottom. That's a theory anyway. I haven't actually tried it before, but it makes sense. Okay, just prime the edges. And do this without shadow being in the way. All right, grab some of this Premier Point, Weather Point, even Premier Point. What the hell's that? Right, so dump a load in the middle. I'm just gonna fill up the majority of the gaps. And yes, I know I should be wearing gloves, but yeah, not perfect world. Probably gonna get a bollock in now from some of you guys saying, no, he's not wearing gloves, what a twat. Well, back to the hands thing. Well, they are the best tool you can get on their hands. They get in between all the grooves. So, well, that seems to have worked. So I'm gonna dump some on the top, use my hand to cover it. And if I rub it back and forth like that, I should push it right in. And it does actually seem to be working. So dump a load, put it close to the end, hand around the back, force it in, rub it back and forth, and then nice and tight. Yeah, so that did work. Okay, well that worked quite well in the end, put the primer on the joints, stop the jointing compound from falling out. So that's it, we done. Just give her a quick hose down, and I'm out of here. So, there we go, that's dry stack walling for you, in a colour copper. And I checked a couple of pieces of porcelain on the top. Well, if you liked the video, like and subscribe. I'm sure we'll be doing something else soon. Until then, yachida. <laughs>